from the Ort and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, a floater formation of quartz crystals uh, included with hematite. You'll see the reddishness to pinkishness in these sections. But now what I'm going to do, I just want to give you a little bit of clarity of to, as to the actual form of this. Because uh, when held in hand, you can clearly see the form. But uh, uh, under photographic environment, very difficult at times to, to, to get a perspective of the angles on this guy. So there you have quartz crystallization going around there. Some prominent crystals jutting out there as well. This one uh, in a way of sorts going its own way. So, so not doing the, uh, what is more conformist. Um, let's go across the crystallization across the sides here. So you, there you see the termination running across there. Let's go across here. So if we have it the other way around, this this would be uh, upside down in my in my perspective, or in my opinion. Um, so I'd still have it going like this. So on a turntable, so we have that termination there, that termination there, and then the upside term termination running across. Maybe as a peg when you when you're looking at the still pictures, just to give you a perspective, and this would be the view from the back, which would be a ferruginous hematoid included quartz. What we're always looking for here are the the little agarite and the papagoite, so ranging from a turquoise into a uh, to a blue. I don't see any here, but there is a possibility. Often, also what I often miss, when you look into the edges of the crystals, have a look at that, uh, across the edges is often banding of, of a little bit of color. All the way from the Art and Villa mine, Messina, South Africa, a floater formation of quartz. Good size, must be about three inches, edge to edge, three inches plus. Of course, width-wise, not very wide. And then breadth-wise, also about three inches.